Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome into Daily Live, where today I'm going to talk to you about caffeine, the one of the most addictive ingredients in our society that most of us rely on. So I'm going to talk to you today about a, a lesson and something that I've discovered from cutting out caffeine for three months. I was walking through Dubai back in December. It's about this, uh, early December now. And I was going to pick up a coffee to go and start my day. And I remember walking through the town and I was like, oh, I can't start my day without coffee. So I walk into a Starbucks, I grab my coffee, I go back and I start working. And I was sat there like wondering, why do I need coffee so much? Right? Why do we need to get ourselves amped up by drinking coffee before we start our day? before we have a workout. And I was always somebody who was so addicted to the need of coffee before I would train. Like I would never go and leave my house without having a pre-workout before I train. And I didn't, I, I did this for years. I would train on pre-workouts for years. I'm talking like three or four years. I could not physically go and work out without a pre-workout, especially on the days that I was, the, the weeks and the months I was training at 6 a.m. I was always needing to have my pre-workout before I would train. And so I got into this habit of having this 300 milligram pre-workout, a 300 milligram of caffeine pre-workout in the morning. And then I was having an afternoon coffee. So it was another 100 or so milligrams of caffeine. So I was pumping like 400 milligrams of caffeine through my body um, to train and to get me through the day. And I was like, well, I need to cut back on the caffeine. So the first thing I cut out was the pre-workout. So I cut down to having just coffee in the morning and coffee in the afternoon. So now I like kind of halved my caffeine intake, maybe a bit less than half, but still having a couple hundred milligrams a day. And I just found myself so reliant on this ingredient, this substance to get me through my workouts and through my day. And I decided that I don't want this thing to control me anymore. I don't want to be controlled and rely on on a substance to give me energy right and our body will normally tell us if we need something by telling us to you know go and sleep by making us tired but by masking our tiredness by covering up what we really need by um by taking caffeine and high doses of these things that keep us wired it stops your body from doing what it needs to do which is shut down and rest or recover and so we just go through life pumped up on these um, on, on caffeine to get us through the day until we realize that we're so reliant on this thing and we can't live without it. And that for me was a scary thought. I was sitting there in Dubai having this coffee before I started my day thinking, I don't, why do I need this so much? I said, I don't. I just in that moment, I said to myself, I'm just going to stop drinking coffee. I'm not going to stop drinking coffee. I'm going to cut out caffeine completely and see what happens. Because at the end of the day, you have to take control for yourself, not let something else control you. right? And if you're somebody who says, I can't start my day without coffee, I can't do this without that, then that means something else is controlling your success, your ability to, to take action. And I didn't want that control to be given up to coffee or caffeine or any substance for that matter. And so I decided there and then I'm going to cut it out completely teetotal. And I remember the very first time I did this, it was 2017. I was coming off the back of competing and I was, you know, having lots of coffee to keep my appetite suppressed and, you know, get me through the days on the low calories. And I remember cutting out coffee and I get the worst headache by day three. I was like, you know, head was pounding and I couldn't concentrate and I was tired every five minutes. And I remember I had a milder effect this time. This time when I cut out caffeine, I had some symptoms of like tiredness, but it wasn't completely the worst thing ever. And when I cut it out this time, I was tired. And what happens is your body starts to give you signs and tell, tells you to sleep and recover and, and everything else. And you don't realize this when you're pumped up on caffeine because you're so wired, you don't needs to rest right because the caffeine gets you through the day and so you're forced to now re rest to relax to sleep and your body can actually regenerate those vital organs those hormones so that you can actually function normally and use your body's natural energy to get you through day through the life through life and so i had this moment where i was kind of tired kind of weak and then i just had this 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 path that i crossed and i was full of energy like I wouldn't 
get the highs and lows like I would when I was when I was drinking coffee, right? When you get when you drink coffee or pre-workout, you get this peak of energy, you get amped up, and then you get this bam, this crash. And then what do you do? You drink more coffee to get you forward, right? To get you through the day. And then you're on this cycle of drinking coffee, crashing, drinking coffee, crashing, which ruins your your body's adrenal glands and systems and a bunch of other things in your body, it increases your cortisol, right? Which there's a whole other side of coffee that isn't actually good for you as much as people make out. There's a lot of research to say too much of this um, ingredient caffeine can, you know, cause other problems like aging and, you know, other problems with your heart and, you know, other problems that go beyond just like giving you more energy in the moment. And I just um, didn't want to, again, be reliant on this substance, but I wanted to let my body start, you know, relying on its own energy source. And what I found from cutting out caffeine was, caffeine was I stopped getting tired as early in the day. I had more energy. I had more sustained energy. I was more focused and I was able to be more creative. Right, I was able to actually think more because I wasn't so like wired up with my eyes open and my heart racing to get things done. And I was able to think more creatively and tap into another side of myself and just move a bit slower mentally so I could be more creative. And so what I discovered was you don't need coffee, coffee or caffeine as much as you think you do. It's all a belief system. You've told yourself that you need coffee to start your day. Otherwise, you can't start your day. And so because you've told yourself the belief that you need this substance, then that's why you need it. It's not because of coffee itself. It's because of the belief that you have around caffeine or coffee or pre-workouts that you need it. And I was telling myself for years, the story I told myself was I can't train hard unless I have a pre-workout. I was convinced I sold myself the story that I couldn't train without a pre-workout. And so anytime my pre-workout ran out or I didn't have coffee, I had a crap workout. And it was always because I was convinced that it wasn't gonna be the same unless I had caffeine. Well, guess what? You can change that story by taking control of your situation and changing the changing the, the way you believe the the thing you need is because you don't need coffee you don't need anything to give you energy and so what i learned from this experience of cutting out caffeine and not needing it to have a great workout or to get me through the day is that what else in your life is taking control of your state of mind because you believe you need it or what else in your life um, are you relying on to get you a result because that's what you've told yourself and so when i cut out caffeine for me it wasn't just about the health benefits of not over, overly, you know, being pumped up on caffeine and everything else. It was more about taking control of my mind and deciding that I'm going to decide how I feel. I'm not going to let some ingredient, some substance control me because if I give control up to caffeine, then I'm going to give control up to everything else that I say I need in my life. And so what I've learned is to take back control, to exercise discipline, and to realize that you don't need anything to have energy, to be to, to get things done, to train harder. You just need to tell yourself a different story why you need what you need, why you do what you do. And it was a, it's a really amazing feeling because now, so I, the first thing, I haven't had a coffee since, about December 10th or 12th. Um, I just had, like, so about a month ago, I had matcha, right? The green stuff, Japanese, like, green tea kind of thing. So that's got caffeine in it. But prior to that, I didn't have any caffeine substances. Um, and now when I have matcha, it's just like here and there, um, rather than this like vice that I go to every day to get my day started, like this thing that I rely on. And only just today did I have a drink that had a caffeine ingredient. And I only had about that much of it of like a 500 mil. And so I'm sharing this with you today, just because I've kind of broken my uh, caffeine um, strict fast, um, if you call it that. Um, and I don't need it. You just, you just don't need it. It's all a belief system. So maybe there's things in your life that you're telling yourself you need the attachment to your, your trainers, your clothes, your, your belongings. There's things in your life that you tell yourself you need, or maybe it's caffeine, which is something that so many trainers rely on, especially when you're getting up early and you're training clients or you're training yourself, but you just, you don't need it. And what happens when you cut out things that you think you need when you don't, it helps you become more disciplined in having more self-control over other things in your life. And so I've had a lot more self-control over things like my sleep, my routines, 
my habits, not just with caffeine, but with food and everything else. So it has this domino effect. When you overcome the one thing that you thought you needed and you push that domino down, then other dominoes start falling down because you've done something that you thought was going to be impossible. And when you overcome the impossible, other things become possible because the possibilities become endless. And so if you have ever tried it, I, I would really recommend it, not just for the self-control, the self-discipline of not having caffeine, but the health benefits and the other side of not overloading yourself with this substance, which increases your heart rate, increases your cortisol, ages you faster, doesn't do nearly as much as you think it does for you in terms of health. One of the benefits I would say is, yeah, it suppresses your appetite and increases your heart rate. So you can, you know, get leaner quicker if that's the goal. But if we're talking long term here, there's, you don't need it to have more energy. You probably just need to sleep more, which is one of the biggest things that you discover when you stop having caffeine is, wow, my body is just tired and I've just been suppressing my tiredness by giving it more caffeine, which then increases your cortisol, which then, then increases your, your body's, your body's then going to store more body fat and it's going to inhibit muscle building. So you're just going to get fatter and lose and, and not gain muscle. So in actual fact, there's a counterintuitive part to having too much caffeine for your health. But from a self-control standpoint, when you can take control of your life and control things that you think are controlling you, you tap into another part of you, which then allows you to control more areas of your life, your discipline around maybe the work that you're doing, the discipline to sit down and get things done, the discipline to write things down and get them done, or discipline to, to go and train and be consistent. And um, just start un, un, unraveling different areas of your life that you thought couldn't be achieved or attained. And so I'm feeling great now. I have the most abundant energy from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. I can work consistently. I feel clean. I feel clear. I have um, just more focus, um, able to think clearly, not feeling like I'm, you know, like anxious or rushing things because I'm just not relying on a substance. I'm letting my body rejuvenate through sleep, through good food. And the health benefits are amazing. And I'm and I'm getting leaner as a result of eating better and sleeping, which are two of the fundamental things if you actually want to improve your body composition, not just overloading yourself with caffeine. So I've cut out pre-workouts. I haven't had one in I don't know, it feels like a year now or like coming up to a year. And I don't have any plans on drinking coffee again. I, I really don't. I feel great without it. I'm actually worried when I drink coffee again because I'm I'm going to be very sensitive to it which is something else that happens when you drink too much coffee you then become desensitized to it so you have to drink more of it to get the same benefits and then when you have too much again it just hits you with all of the, the side effects and so by cutting it out you become more sensitive and so I don't want to have it again because I don't want to affect my sleep negatively I like the fact that I sleep really well because the benefits of sleep go far beyond the benefits of having some substance to give you some energy for 20 minutes or an hour, um, both in in your health, your creativity, your focus, your clarity. And so I don't really plan on jumping back on it. And I recommend if you're somebody who's like, oh, I could never do that. I could never start my day without coffee or caffeine. Go and try it. Go, go and challenge yourself to do something that you thought was impossible. Go and do something that you think is something that you couldn't do or survive without and go and unlock another part of your mind that's going to allow you to do other things in your life to be able to um, unlock another another level in your in yourself. Um, and it's a it's a challenge. Um, one that I, I recommend is is going to bring you a lot of benefits, both mentally and physically. Um, so yeah, that's my 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 little tip for you there. It's going to give you so much more than you've got in your life right now by taking control of it and saying. What else can I do? I've taken control of this situation. What else can I take control of? Because if I can do this that I thought was impossible, surely I can do other things. How many other dominoes can you knock down in your life from doing the one thing that you thought was impossible, something that you thought you couldn't live without? All of these stories that you've told yourself. And when you change the story that you've told yourself about this habit that you have, this thing that you've been doing, you'll start changing other stories in your life and achieving a lot more. So anyway, want to share this with you today. Leave a comment below or um, if, you, if you've tried cutting out caffeine or if you're going to try it, I challenge you to try cutting out caffeine even for a week or a month 
and see what happens, see how you feel. Because when you overcome that initial period of, of um, withdrawal symptoms or headaches or the, the need for it, you're going to regain so much more in your life. And so I, I challenge you to go and try it and let me know in the comments if you plan on it. Um, I think you get a lot of benefits from it and I think you're going to feel really good as a result. So what I got today, stay tuned. I go daily, daily live every day. I go on live every day, Monday to Friday, 2.59 p.m. BST UK time, 9.59 a.m. EST in America. So just come and hang out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I love to jump in after these lives and just you know answer any questions you have about today's live or any other questions that you've got. But that's what I got today. Go and caffeine detox from your life and uh, see the benefits for yourself. Have a good day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.